Hello guys and welcome to my channel Accelerate and this is where we're going to kick your Excel skills into higher gear. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well and press that little bell button as well so I can notify you guys once I upload more content so you will always be updated. Alright guys, so in today's episode we are going to look into emojis. So these are these guys, so these guys we're going to place in our Excel spreadsheets and we're going to have a lot of fun. Alright guys, up! Here we go. <laughs> right, so I jumped here in my Excel spreadsheet and as you guys can see, we're running uh, like 10 persons here and they ran a survey and depending on the number that I gave or they were absent as well, then that, this is the emoji that will pop up uh, in this case. So we're not using conditional formatting for this. We're also not using VBA. So I'm going to use a few formulas like uh, indirect formulas with a little bit of a picture lookup magic that we can do this. So basically what happens is if we're going to change this number to whatever the, the person said, so let's go for two, you'll see it goes to unhappy and the unhappy emoji pops up or three will be okay or uh, let's go for a good as well as an excellent or maybe a absent as well. So this is quite awesome, quite dynamic as well and this gives the conditional formatting a little bit of a run of, for its money. So let's get started with this one. I'm really excited for this. Remember to hit that like button guys and uh, let's jump into this one. So I'm going to go into a new Excel spreadsheet that I've got here. So we're going to start this one from scratch and there's two sheets in my um, workbook here. So start off with uh, sheet one will be let's say the report and sheet two will be our uh, let's say emoji database. All right so let's start off with sheet two the emoji database. What is important is we need to uh, have the column width and row height uh, the same as the picture that's going to pull through to our report. So I'm just gonna take let's say six here from B2, I'm just going to give it a little border here. So I'm going to give it a border and now we can resize it so we can highlight from 2 to 7 and just give it a little bit of a, a increased size where we need to put in our pictures. Alright, so basically um, we're going to put in pictures. So I downloaded a few emojis. Um, I left my file for you guys down below to download for the emoji picture files. I'm just going to go fetch them. So I'm just going to insert my pictures here. I know I left it on the desktop here. Emoji in Excel, Pix. So there you will see a few emojis. So we're going to go with the low. There's the low one. Unhappy. Okay, so I'm only, only holding control and clicking them to pull them through. We've got good, excellent, as well as absent. So we're going to insert those. So you'll see it's a little bit larger than expected. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to Format. We're going to go to uh, width here and let's go for a 2 and hit enter. Let's see if that works. Let's go for a 2. Okay, so let's go for a 1 here in my 1 centimeter. There we go. That looks more or less good. Alright, so basically what we've got, we've got low here. There is the low. Let's put it in the middle here. We've got unhappy here as well. We've got uh, OK, we've got Good, we've got Excellent, and then lastly we've got Absent, so Absent is here. So if it isn't aligned as you would like to have it, you can select all, so you can click on the picture, holding control, click on the pictures, so until you select it all, you're going to go to Format and you're going to click here on Align, and we're going to align them horizontally, we're going to align them vertically and we can align them according to center as well. So that will align all the pictures more or less as you would like it in this space. And what we can do is we can take away the borders now. So we don't need the borders anymore. So highlight and you can say no borders. So now we're going to go to named ranges. We're going to name these ranges. So I'm going to go highlight B2, my uh, low here, and we're going to go to data. Uh, formulas, excuse me, formulas, uh, name manager, and we're going to hit new. So 
we're going to hit new and this one is called un or low say low and this is connected to emoji database b2 that's correct okay so now we've created our first name range now we're going to go for a new one so new we're going to go with unhappy unhappy and this one is connected to b3 so i'm just going to take the b2 here the b2 and we're going to go to b3 uh, you can always tab out and make sure the running ants is at the correct um, cell here so you only tab it out and we're going to hit ok so now we got unhappy now we're going to go with ok so we say this one is called ok and this is connected to b4 so i take the two here and i replace it with a four you can tab out and you can see it's running from the OK. We're going to say shop OK. Now we're going to go new and we've got good here. So let's go for good. It, it, this is good is connected to B5. So I'm just going to replace the two with a five. Tab twice. Go into the formula once again. And this one, the running ants will show. This is the good one. Very good. All right. So now we're going to go with new and we're going to go with excellent excellent there and excellent connected to b6 uh, tab tab once again and then you can see it's running through excellent and the very last one we're going to go with new and this is the absent so let's go with absent and that's connected to b7 so that was our very last emoji you can put in more emojis if you want to but for my uh, case scenario i only got six emojis here that i want to pull through so that's our named ranges done and dusted now we're going to go back to our report. So in our report, we're going to go to B2 here and let's say this is person 1. So this is person 1 score. I'm just going to show person 1 here and I'm going to drag it down. So let's say for argument's sake, we've got six persons here that's going to give our emoji here in this in the C here. So seeing that we've got six emojis, just want to check the row uh, height here so we've got 28.8 here so we want to make sure that this is also more or less aligned so I'm highlighting everything right click I'm, I'm gonna right click there and we're gonna go to um, row height and I'm gonna go with let's go for 30 for now and let's see how it goes you can also go home and just put everything in the middle that it looks nice as well so remember person one so let's say person if it gets a one then it should be uh, low if it's a two should be unhappy three should be good four should be uh, or three is okay four is good five is excellent and six is absent so basically i'm just going to put this everything in the, in the middle here there we go and let's go for middle here and now i'm just going to quickly write an uh, if formula as well so we're going to go with equals if whatever's in D2 equals 1. So if it's 1, comma, parentheses, and we're going to say, then we're going to say it's low. Close out the comma. If it's false, we're going to go with a nested if here. We're going to go with another if D2 equals 2, then comma, it should say unhappy close the parentheses comma once again we go with the if so it's feeling like a little bit like inception we're going deeper into this nested if formula so if d2 equals 3 comma what needs to happen if it's true we're going to say it needs to be okay parentheses close with a comma and if it's false we're going to go with if we're going deeper so if d2 equals 4 comma if it's true give me good parentheses comma and if d2 equals 5 if it's true give me excellent and if none of this applies just give me absent close the parentheses so you just hit enter it's going to show this little error message but you can just say yes so this vlookup oh, 
this if formula nested if formula will pick up one and it shows low so you can drag down the formula now and it should show low unhappy okay good excellent and absent based on these numbers so next step is we're just going to go back to our emoji uh, database here in c2 I would just like you to write in C2 1, in C3 2, and we're going to just drag this formula down to 6. So this represents the emoji here and the scoring mechanism here. And we're going to go back to D2 here and highlight D2. And you're going to go to data. You're going to click on data validation. You click on data validation. And here we're going to click on where it says any value, we're going to click on list. And we're going to put it a source and here in the source we're going to go to our data emoji database highlight from c2 to c7 and just hit enter so this will give it a little bit of a drop down list here so now you can choose one two three whatever the person said and if you choose two it ch changes to unhappy and so forth so this is that little data validation worked in with our nested if and this makes our life easier because we just put in the little number here and it will show the formula picks up uh, what we've chosen so this is quite nice functionality all right guys now we're going to the good stuff the fun stuff now we're going to put those little emoji guys into our excel spreadsheets so i hope you're with me and let's get into this one right awesome so what we're going to do now is we're going to put in a new name manager here so we're going to go to formulas name manager so now we're going to create a new one so let's go with new and we're going to put in here let's go for select one so this is our very first we're going to peg it here to e2 here so this refers to we're going to say equals indirect indirect and we're going to put in here e2 and we're going to close the brackets and we say okay so remember we've created this one select two i'm just gonna zoom a little bit in here and you will see it's select one and it refers to indirect report e2 so this will be e2 all right so this is quite important because we're going to link those little pictures to uh this whatever's in e2 and we're going to all right so we're going to go to insert and we can insert any picture here so we insert pictures and we know this is low so i'm going to insert low well let's go f yeah let's go for any picture you can literally put in any picture so let's put in the absent one here and we're going to resize it to see fit here so you'll see it fits here and now you're going to click on the picture and you're in the formula bar you're going to cl click equals select and select one should pop up here so i'm just going to highlight here so you'll see select one pops up select one there it pops up and i'm going to select it so i'm just going to quit in and cancel here so it should be select and it automatically changed to whatever is here so if you're going to change it here to two it's going to show unhappy and the unhappy face emoji pops up because it's linked to whatever is here so if it's two it shows unhappy unhappy face pulls through so this is awesome this works with any picture guys you can put in any emoji any picture and it will pull through so let's test it once more if you're going to go for free okay you get the okay face four you get the good face five you get the excellent face and six you get the absent face so everything is working perfectly but now this is a little catch guys if you want you can't drag it down because it's a picture so now we're going to create uh, select one is created we're going to go for select two that refers to our second person and so forth so we're going to go back to formulas name manager and here in select we're going to go with new and we're going to go with select two so select two and this is just re uh, referring to indirect e3 and close the brackets now what i would advise you to highlight this little formula hold control c to copy and put in ok so that's select two so now we've got six persons here so we need to create six selects 
So let's go with new. We're going to go with select free. And now remember we copy that. So highlight everything here. Control V. And here in indirect report E3. Now it's E4. So we just put in E4 and OK. We're going to go with new. We're going to go with select 4. And this refers to, we're going to say control V. This is number 4 refers to E5 there we go E5 that's our fourth selection okay and we're gonna go with select 5 and this refers to control V E6 I'm gonna say okay and our very last one we're gonna go with new select 6 so our sixth person here and this refers to E7. So that's all for my side. So select 1 to 6 has been created. So you will create as much selections as much as the persons that you need to get a picture from. And we're going to say close here. And now what we can do is I'm just going to put in my little just going to format this and you'll see there's sometimes borders as well so to get rid of the borders you're going to go to emoji database you're going to show on view and you're going to hide the grid lines you're just going to untick this grid line box takes away the grid lines and if you go to report then the grid lines is also vanished all right so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this picture Control c for copy in C3, we're going to go Control V to paste. We're going to align them. But now from Select 1, this is our second person, so we need to go to Select 2. So it should pop up here, and you press Enter, and that will change to Unhappy now. So if this cha ever changes, because we've got the indirect formula as well, just going to drag this one down, the data validation as well. And now we're going to just choose 2 here, so it should change to an unhappy face. Control C, highlight the picture, Control C, here in C4, Control V to paste that picture once again. And now this is select free. Select free, enter, and now we can ch change this to free. So it becomes an OK face, and you get the drift. Control C, in C5, Control V, and this becomes select 4. And if you go to 4 here, it goes to good and the good emoji pops up. Control, uh, highlight the picture, Control C, here in C6, Control V to paste. And then uh, this will become selection 5 or select 5. Enter. And if we change this to a 5, the excellent emoji pops up. And our very last emoji guy coming up here in C7. So highlight the picture control C and then if you go control V there we go this is based on selection 6 and we're going to hit enter we're going to change our value here to 6 and you will get absent guys this is quite awesome I hope you enjoyed this tutorial we're just going to do one last test here so let's put this to 6 should show absent we're going to just rotate them it shows excellent okay becomes good good becomes okay uh, excellent should be unhappy and then one should be low so I changed everything and as you can see these emojis change perfectly guys I hope you enjoyed this video give it a like give it a subscribe as well remember to hit that little bell button and I will see you see you guys for our next tutorial cheers guys